Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I am an emergency physician and founder of DRER.TV. In this video, we're going to talk about Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. WPW is a condition that can cause fast heartbeat or tachy dysrhythmias and can cause the heart to go really fast and then cause episodes of dizziness or syncope. People with WPW are normally asymptomatic. They're totally fine. But they'll have episodes where the heart rate jumps and goes really, really fast. And this causes the symptoms of lightheadedness, dizziness, palpitations, syncope, near syncope, which is they feel like they're gonna pass out. It happens suddenly and sometimes it goes away on its own. Sometimes, however, it will require medical treatment. How do normal heartbeat happens? Well, you got your heart. And on the top part of the heart, you got the sinus. The sinus sends electrical signals ever so often that travel down the heart to the ventricle where the ventricle picks up on the signal and contracts in return. The normal heartbeat is between 60 and 80 beats per minute. In people with Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, that uh, canal of electricity or that wire has a short circuit and it can cause the electricity to go into what's called a re-entrant tachycardia or the electricity go back in a loop, therefore going twice, three times, four times as fast as it normally should, therefore causing this tachy dysrhythmias. Why is the heartbeat abnormal in WPW? Well, most of the time it's normal. However, they'll go into these episodes of re-entrant tachycardias where they'll go really, really fast. And the reason is because they have this accessory pathway or short circuit in their heart causing these tachycardias. What are the symptoms of WPW? Well, people with WPW have the feeling of their heart beating too fast or palpitations, tachycardias. They feel dizzy or lightheaded, or they'll pass out, as we've mentioned before. Most patients with WPW will have no symptoms at all, but when they do, it'll cause chest pain, it'll cause trouble breathing, agitation, almost like the feeling of an anxiety attack. WPW syndrome can be life-threatening because it can cause sudden death. This arrhythmia can be so bad, it can cause the heart to stop. But this is rare. Is there a test to diagnose WPW? Absolutely. We will do an ECG or electrocardiogram, which is a multiple electrical leads across your chest to look at the conduction of your heart. When we do this EKG, we will see an abnormal slope in the depolarization signal of the EKG. So those big parts of the EKG where they go straight up, it'll go like a slope up. We call that the delta wave. So finding a delta wave usually makes a suspicion the patient has WPW. That combined with the history of tachydysrhythmias, episodes of fainting, dizziness, lightheadedness, is what makes us diagnose WPW syndrome. So how is WPW syndrome treated? Well, it can be treated different ways. Some treatments can stop uh, the episodes of fast heartbeats, like vagal maneuvers or things you do to slow the rhythm down, medications to slow the rhythm down, or things to cardiovert the rhythm as necessary. So some of the treatment is to treat the actual uh, heart rhythm and bring it down, and some of the treatment of WPW is to prevent the rhythm from going fast in the future. So what sort of treatment can stop the heartbeat going fast once it is fast? Well, the treatments will be actions or things you can do yourself like coughing <coughs> or bearing down. <sighs> it's called a vagal maneuver. When that happens, there's um, sinus pressure and signals to slow the heart rate down, and it does. There's massaging on the carotid sinus. There's putting your head in ice, and that creates a vagal reaction. Putting pressure on the eyeballs itself like this can also create a vagal maneuver and blowing really hard on a close object like a closed straw or something like that. Then there's medications. You can give different kinds of uh, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and different heart rate medicines. And then there's a procedure called cardioversion. You've seen on TV as the paddles and shock. That's actually the fibrillation, but the cardioversion is very similar. You take some pads, you put it on the chest, you coordinate with the heartbeat so you know when you are producing the electricity to the heart, and then you shock the heart to get it back into normal conduction rhythm. This is usually done under sedation as to not shock the patient and getting hit by a truck sensation that they complain of. 
What sort of treatments can prevent future episodes of tachycardias? Treatments can prevent future episodes of tachycardia are the following. A procedure called radio frequency catheter ablation. Eventually, we put a catheter either through the wrist or the groin, goes into your heart, and using radio frequency, we burn this extra pathway. We cut it, we laser it, we damage it, so that the electricity coming from the sinus down to the ventricle has only one way to go instead of this extra pathway that goes on a loop. If nothing else works, you might need surgery. A doctor can do surgery to disconnect the abnormal path in the heart. But radio frequency catheter ablation is done far more commonly than surgery. This is a last resort for multiple episodes of life-threatening dysrhythmias. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video that you learn a lot about WPW syndrome, potential treatments, uh, symptoms. If you have symptoms of tachycardias that have been undiagnosed, you need to see a doctor, you need to get an electrocardiogram, you need to search for that delta wave on the EKG, and if you do, you might need to see an electrocardiologist, an electrophysiologist or specialist of the heart that specialists in arrhythmias, and those are the ones who usually do these um, radio frequency ablations of the heart. Again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, check out patienteducation.video for many, many, many more free patient education videos.